Good evening, Ali. Welcome all to the 32nd branch lecture. Uh, today's lecture is about Hainas. Um, the lecture will be conducted by myself. I'm Tom Garagat, and today's lecture will be conducted by myself, next uh, in Dharmaratna and Hinsarari. Um, so let's get started. Hinsarari, next slide. So, Mali, today we will be talking about an introduction about hyenas, uh, their types, habitats, common characteristics, behavior, and threats. Uh, so, Mali, hyenas are biologically closer to cats than dogs. So, so normally you look, they look like dogs when we are looking, but when considering biologically, they are more closer to cats. Uh, and Ainas originated in the jungles of Miocene Eurasia. They, they originated 22 million years ago. Uh, so Ainas are very dangerous predators. Uh, you all have seen that they are hunting and all in the videos and all. Uh, so in many places, Ainas are considered as scavengers. So, but uh, they are not always scavengers. They also hunt. Uh, scavengers means uh, animals that eat dead bodies. So they eat dead bodies, but also they hunt their prey. Uh, um, they, there are four types of hyenas, and they vary in diet and their habitat and their range. Uh, hyenas eat their prey entirely, uh, when virtually the entire animal bones and all. They they eating the whole animal when they are eating, and hyenas are living groups. Uh, normally, the groups are consisting of five to eight members, and sometimes it will be increased up to twenty and thirty. Uh, rarely, and uh, as a reminder, if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, we will try our best to uh, inform, uh, answer your question. Yes, ma'am. If we saw can you repeat the question, Mal? If we if we saw a hyena, if we see a hyena, what we what would we do? Normally, uh, Mal, uh, they are not attacking. Do not provoke them. Okay, thank you. Because you don't want to provoke a wild animal. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move on to our second topic, uh, types of hyenas. Although many people compare hyenas to dogs, they are actually more like cats. In fact, they are members of, uh, of the suborder Feliformia, which is a classification for cat-like carnivals. So uh, lifespan of a wild hyenas is up to uh, 20 years. Mainly there are about four species of uh, hyenas. So if you uh, take dogs, there are different breeds. Uh, likewise, hyenas also have different types of species. So the first one is spotted hyena, second one is brown hyena, stripped hyena, and the final one is uh, a dwarf wolf. Yeah. So, Excuse me, Maria. What is the most common common hyena? I think the spotted hyena. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, these are some pictures. Uh, you can refer. This is a uh, spotted hyena. Spotted hyena. Spotted hyena is the most widespread of the hyena and classified as the species of least concern as between 30,000 and uh, 50,000 individuals roam in the wild. They are native to sub-Saharan Africa where they continue to be thrive. So the main habitat of these hyenas is the uh, Saharan, sub-Saharan Africa. So it is, uh, that is their more main habitat. And uh, it is the largest of the hyenas and easily distinguished from the other species by its bear-like physique. 
So uh, the spotted hyena is the largest species of hyenas and they can be easily identified from one another because of their uh, body shape like uh, bear. It is the most uh, social carnivorous in that uh, lives in groups of about 30 members with a complex social hierarchies. So they uh, live together as a group. So this uh, group is uh, normally called as a clan. So they perform a complex uh, social hierarchies. Uh, the spotted hyena is the largest species and it grows to uh, four to 5.9 feet long and 2.5 to 2.6 feet tall from the paw to shoulders. They weigh uh, 80, 88 to 190 lbs. Unlike other species, spotted uh, females are 10% heavier than their males. So the unlike other species, spotted females are 10% heavier than their males. Oh, yeah, is this spotted hyena dangerous than the other hyenas? Yeah, so it is the uh, larger species, no? Okay. So uh, this is brown hyena. Brown hyena is also known as uh, strand wolf, the rarest of the hyenas. So it is found in Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa, uh, Mozambique, and uh, Namibia. So all of these countries are belong to the African continent. The largest remaining population of this hyena is found in the Kalakari Desert. So it is also it's a geographical location which is belong to the uh, African continent. It is uh, mostly found in a desert and semi-desert environment and wood, uh, woodland savannas. In some rare cases, brown hyenas move close to urban areas in search of food. So, in rare, sometimes they may be uh, migrate to urban areas to uh, satisfy their food necessity. Uh, brown hyenas are the second largest, ranging from 51 to 63 inches long and weight uh, 75. 260 lbs. Brown hyenas can be distinguished from other hyenas by long shaggy hair, which is dark brown or black on the body and tan on the shoulder and neck. So they can be identified different from one another because of their uh, long shaggy hair. And that is in yeah. two colors. Yeah. Are they in uh, red animals group? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, that means uh, are there not uh, many many animals in the uh, uh, in the in their species? Uh, uh, small animals are there, or uh, there is a big amount of animals are in uh, there in the earth. Uh, Mal, you mean yeah? Uh, there are many less amount of uh, hyenas in the world. So basically, there are in, in, endangered species also. Are you can can are you can a group of hyenas eat a lion? Uh, interesting question. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I think we'll talk about that uh, in the lecture. Uh, so I hope you will get the answer when we talk about the topic. But as far as I know, yes. They can. A pack can. A single hyena cannot. I uh, hope you got your answer. Yeah, him sir, you can tell. Yeah. So, yeah. Hair on the neck grows to about 12 inches. In uh, contrast to short hair on the legs, face, and ears. The tall is short and bushy. The four legs, which are horizontally stripped, are much longer and more uh, massively built than the hind leg, uh, giving the brown hyena the appearance of always climbing a hill. Yeah, so let me. Excuse me, Aya. Yeah, well. Is there a special feature that we can identify brown hyenas from dogs? There are dogs like that, right? 
special feature uh, so mali the shaggy hair and uh, obviously the size difference is there yeah and see okay. the picture and the, the also, yeah okay. the location of the lake also there yeah, the last point the four legs which are horizontally shaped okay i are they can uh, brown hyenas can run very fast uh, uh, like uh, like uh, tiger or some uh, some uh, yeah average, average speed is up to uh, 60 kilometers per hour okay. also mali to answer the previous question uh, yes hyenas are known to kill lions when they are in a pack uh, okay you all, yeah. you, all, you all have seen lion king right can you remember when the the hyenas get scared then so something like that yeah the- i know that lion king i know in in this picture there is armed wolf right no my no, no. no. this this, no, this is we will talk about the armed wolf so later yeah yes yeah, uh, this is side hyena this is stripped hyena i uh, how do you pronounce Mali, you are unclear. Are you? How do we pronounce? Pronounce what? Hello. Uh, pronounce. Uh, pronounce that species: striped hyena or stripped hyena. You can say both, right? Striped, striped. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. So we will talk about the striped hyena. Striped or stripped. um the striped hyena is native to uh, east and north africa the indian subcontinent central asia the caucasus mountains and the middle east it is considered a near threatened species because the number of mature individuals is less than 10000 and it continues to decline sad news uh, the striped hyena is the smallest of the true hyenas it is re- relatively bigger than the art wolf uh The striped hyena is thirty-nine to forty-five inches long and twenty-six to thirty uh, inches tall from uh, pod shoulder. Their tails add another twelve to sixteen uh, inches, and they weigh from fifty-seven uh, to ninety pounds. So that's twenty-six to forty-one kilograms. Are you, why are you mentioning in that presentation true hyenas? Are there any uh, some other hyenas? Mali, so as far as I know, the art wolf is, uh, I think it's like genetically a bit different. So I think true hyenas mean, uh, like the spotted say, hyena. From evolution itself, I think the other three hyenas are like haven't been like hybrid or something like that. I think art wolf has some genetic hybrid difference or something like that. Uh, yeah. If we if we uh, got uh, art wolf into that uh, true hyenas, I think uh, art wolf is smallest. So, uh, yeah, art wolf is the smallest. Smallest is yeah. Yeah. So so you yeah. art wolf special than the others? Good question. Um. So yeah, it is different. Um. I'll get back to you. uh on their answer Let's search it up and can, check it you can uh, speak uh, speak uh, hyenas can eat uh, humans yeah sure they can are they that much strong yeah some are very aggressive so they can do it okay Oh yeah, is that the spotted hyena or the art wolf? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, oh yeah, art wolf. Yeah, Mani, can you repeat the question? Is that the art wolf or the spotted hyena? I think it's spotted. Uh, this one, this is art wolf. Okay. Yeah, this is art. art. Yeah. Mani, yeah. question. before uh, art wolf is also in the hyena species but uh, the difference is they do not hunt large animals because they are very small in size uh, we okay. will talk 
ഹൈന <laughs> they weigh from 17 to 6 a uh, 17.6 to 30.8 pounds and they and their length ranges from 33 to 41 inches and about 1/4 of that is the tail so yeah excuse me yeah, yeah. Uh, can a uh, can a hyena be a pet in some no, countries no. yeah uh, in some countries yeah i don't think it's illegal though like, i mean like dubai Like how we can how we can find a female hyena and male hyena uh, from uh, female hyenas i think bigger than the male hyena um yeah. i like to answer that uh, pet question um so unless the wild animal is like tamed i don't think you can like keep them as pets anyway it's dangerous to keep a wild animal as a pet you don't do it often but you know the rich rich people they like keep tamed yeah. animals so other than that no one i haven't heard any such news of a wild animal being kept as a pet so yeah uh good we question can fi- we can find a female and me yeah we will talk about that now kamiga i will talk about that okay, so uh, let's talk about some differences between male and female hyenas Uh, normally normally in hyenas the female hyena is the larger one uh, so it's a special char- characteristic in uh, hyenas that they are uh, in their group the uh, the head is a female one so when a female is the head of the family they are called matriarch so the female matriarch is more muscular and aggressive uh, so normally the the female animal of the hyena has to, has triple the level of testosterone than males uh, testosterone means the only the hormone which is responsible for male character characteristics so because of that because of yeah, they yeah. have more yes ma'am and yeah, how many children are are they produced in one time uh, as average only they produce one to three cubs okay Uh, so because of male female hyenas have more testosterone level, uh, they have less developed nipples and a pseudo penis. Yeah, what is more dangerous? What hyena is more dangerous, male hyena or the female hyena? Uh, the female hyena is more dangerous. Ah. Oh. Only uh, unlike other animals, the female hyena is larger than the male hyena. Like, are you in every species or, or in one species like spotted hyena? 
uh, it can be seen more in spotted hyena uh, as a special thing uh, others also normally the female is bigger in nocturnal okay are you worried jet black spots uh, that means only their cub is uh, black color not like uh, not like their mothers when they are getting older the spotted spots and sticks are coming Are you uh, eating uh, grass and uh, other kind of uh, plants? Normally, they are carnivores. They only eat meat. Yeah. So, uh, their mothers are uh, like they are protecting their. Cubs, other than other carn, more than other carnivores. Normally, in other carnivores like uh, tigers, they only look after their uh, cubs for only few times. But in hyenas, they they are investing more energy in the cubs, and they are looking after their cubs until they mature. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about the habitats of hyenas. Uh, basically, these animals thrive in forests, grasslands, savannas, woodlands, and high latitudes. High latitudes are like mountainous regions. Yeah, we can move on to the next slide. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, all the hyenas living in the different types of habitats. Um, beautiful creatures for you. Uh, yeah, to move on. Their front legs are longer than the back legs, uh, and their standing posture is similar to that of bears. So yeah, special point right there. Yeah, let's talk about the feeding habit. Uh, they are carnivores and scavengers, eating carrion. Hy hyenas hunt antelopes, buffaloes, and zebras. They also hunt prey such as monkeys, birds, and wild wildebeest. Uh, they consume about three to six kilograms of meat daily. Yeah, any questions? No, what means uh, wild, uh, wild beasts? Wild beasts. Wild beasts are uh, another type of animal. It's like kind of between a bull. Uh, yeah, kind of between. Like a wolf, right? Yeah, between like a bull and a buffalo. So it between. They are called wildebeest. Um, yeah, any other questions? I don't think so. Uh, we can move on. Yeah, in one picture, there is, I think, a uh, buffalo. And uh, why, why they can't uh, hit in the uh, horn uh, to uh, this? Mali, so, uh, so this photo obviously uh, has been taken when the hyena has won, right? So obviously the antelope uh, has tried to, yeah, obviously he, uh, it has tried to like hit the hyena for second defense, obviously, but um, the here you can see the hyena has won and hy hyena is eating it. So they do use their horns for self defense, but in this instance, in this picture, uh, what to do? <laughs> the hyena has more. Yeah, uh, we can move on. Here yeah, you can see them uh, hunting, and especially uh, that picture where they are surrounding a lion, they are trying to eat the meat uh, of the lion skill. So that's what scavengers, scavengers are, right? Um, yeah. Are you about, uh, what, uh, who are in the first picture? Uh, who are who, uh, eating them? First picture means the corner one? Yes, sir. Uh, that's uh, it. Yeah. Uh, zebra, right? Yeah, that's a zebra. 
then the next picture it's a buffalo, buffalo. another buffalo then uh, the high the pack of hyena surrounding lions uh, a lion and uh, the other one is a uh, hyena a pack of hyena like dominating a lion so yeah Lions scared to hyenas, right? Scared meaning so. Uh, if you take individually again, they are not. But as you can see in this picture, the the lion is clearly outnumbered. So yeah, in that situations, you could say the lion steps down. Yeah, we can move on. Uh, hyenas live in groups called clans or packs, which range uh, which range from five to eight members. The females have to protect their young from males, as hyenas have canni cannibalistic tendencies. So, yeah, uh, this is not very common, but hyenas do uh, have cannibalistic uh, tendencies. Cannibalism is basically eating their own children or uh, own. Uh, yeah. I know. Uh, if he, uh, a female have to protect their young, uh, why they eat, uh, 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 own uh, children? The male, male hyena is eating their children, so females are protecting their child from their male. Yes. Yeah, they have strong jaws compared to their body size. This enables them to process and obtain nutrients from skin to bones. They can travel large distances as they are built for endurance. Hyenas can go several days without water. Yeah, so that's a special point right there. Are you, what is several days, like 10 days? Roughly four to five days. Okay. Here we can move on. So let's talk about the behavior of hyenas. Spotted hyenas are social animals that live in large communities, referred to as clans, uh, which can uh, consist of uh, consist of eight individuals. So, as we mentioned before, uh, one clan consists of like uh, maximum eight members, and uh, because they are social animals, all those like clans and packs get together, and like you can see a big amount, like eighty uh, individuals. Um, group size varies geographically. Uh, in the Serengeti, which is Africa, where prey is migratory, clans are smaller than those in the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Tanzania, uh, where prey is uh, sedentary. Females usually dominate males, including in cases where low ranking females generally dominate over high ranking males, but they will also occasionally co dominate with the male. High ranking hyenas maintain their position through aggression directed against lower ranking clan members. Individuals spotted hyenas only care for their own young and males take no part in raise, uh, raising their young. Cubs are able to identify relatives as distantly related as great aunts. So yeah, very unique creature. Uh, yeah, they fight head to head. Uh, hyenas, that's been one hyena fight with uh, uh, the hyena. The leadership? Ah, could you repeat that question again? I had did uh, uh, hyenas fight head to head uh, in uh, other hyena? They do. Um, yeah. I, uh, uh... Uh, can a no normal a member of the hyena pack challenge the leader of the hyena pack and become the leader like lions? Himself yeah, they yeah, yeah, there's a social hierarchy. So, they can do it. Okay. Yeah, so moving on. Uh, males associate more closely with their own daughters rather than unrelated cubs. And the latter favor... Uh, and the latter favor their fathers by acting less aggressively towards them. 
the spotted hyena displays greater plasticity in its hunting and foraging behavior than the other african carnivores it hunts alone once selected their prey is chased over a long distance or of, often several kilometers at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour so they are pretty fast animals we can move on so you can see a hyena image right here how how they can capture that photo like uh, they go to uh, uh <laughs> so mali uh, there's wildlife photography right so specialists they go into the wild for days in like cabs and all and uh, just wait and wait and like with those huge lenses they capture these magnificent photos Yeah, they go on safari and just wait for a long period of time, and they get lucky. You have to be lucky if you're a wildlife photographer. Um, yeah. So another nice picture right here. Yeah, let's talk about the threats. Uh, how are hyenas being threatened by the humans? Hyenas are threatened by humans, hunting them and killing them for the meat and their coats. Uh, they will attack livestock, and the farmers will shoot and kill the hyenas. Humans will build houses and buildings where the hyenas hunt and live. As for other threats, lions are a huge problem for hyenas because lions will attack the hyenas whenever they can. Next slide. Yeah. Are you only lion and humans can uh, attack to hyenas? normally so those are like the main threats the biggest threat for uh, the hyena is the lion and uh, because we are humans we have to talk about the human impact in the life of a hyena so that's what we focused on there but there are, they are there are other threats but uh, we are, we are focusing on the lion and the human are you any talk about human uh, can we get Uh, th uh, into uh, threats of humans, can we get uh, hyenas also? It, I know uh, hyenas attack him, but uh, we can we got uh, hyenas treats a human? Yes, ma'am. The hyenas are all any wild animal is a threat to a human, especially a carnivore one. But um, at this rate, I think humans harm more. Hyenas then hyenas harm humans, which should not happen. Um, yeah, I hope you got the answer. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's. Yeah, so it's a short lecture from us. Uh, that's it.